You may want to pair this upcoming segment here with a locally grown glass of wine. It is harvesting season for the vineyards across the region. And as you sip away, take this in. The state of Ohio's wine sector brings in some pretty big bucks. With an estimated $6.6 .6 billion in economic activity in 2022 alone. And as the grapes are gathered for the upcoming bottles of wine, we are joined now by the Ohio State's Viticulture Outreach Specialist, Maria Smith. Maria, thank you so much for joining us on this sweet note this evening. Here, glad to be here. Yes, now my Kent State Geography of Wine class taught me just a few things that I can remember. <laughs> the soil and the weather conditions really have to be good and right for growing grapes. So what are the varieties Ohio vineyards are mostly harvesting right now? So right now we're sort of in our mid ripening period. Um, Chardonnay is coming off this week in the Ashtabula County area. Riesling's coming up in the next week. And then we're looking forward to some of the later varieties like Cabernet Franc um, coming up towards the end of harvest. And of course, there's always the Vidal Blanc ice wine that hangs until it gets really cold in the winter. Now, do you track to see, you know, maybe which varieties are going to be probably pretty good out of this year's crop? Do you have any expectations or predictions? Yeah, so I know um, I was just joking with a colleague recently about this, where some years it feels like it's really a Pinot Noir kind of year and other years it's a Cabernet Franc kind of a year. And that being um, relative to what's going to ripen better, something that's earlier in the season or something that's going to be later. And this year is definitely a Pinot Noir kind of year with how cool it's been this fall. Um, I think the quality overall is pretty excellent in part to how dry it's been um, this harvest season. But at that between the cool temperatures and the late start to the growing season with the frost in May um, has really pushed back uh, the late ripening varieties like Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon that are grown up in Northeast Ohio. Oh. But early, early ripening fruits, really good quality this year. Now you offer consultation services in the commercial grape production sector. Uh, what are some of the biggest advancements Ohio wineries are making to meet the rising demand we're seeing across the state and also competition from other vineyards across the country and around the world, really? Well, part of it is uh, obviously carving a niche for ourselves and the best varieties that we can competently grow. So matching what uh, what's going to grow best for us with any particular vineyard. And I think diversity is actually one of our strengths. So we grow over 70 different cultivars of grapes in the state of Ohio. Um, and that lends itself to any number of different types of wine styles from sweet to dry to dessert and everything in between. Are there any ways of the production of the wine making that really has helped our Ohio wineries? Yeah, I mean, I think we're diversifying in styles as well. And you can see that in some of our wineries that are making newer canned products. Um, so there are sparkling wines, there are canning wines. Um, and we're just branching out from the traditional 750 milliliter dry style wines and sweet, sweet style wines as well. So um, there absolutely there are advancements. We are continuously planting new newly released cultivars from breeding programs that are giving us um, better diversity and, and also different types of wine styles that we can make with these grapes as well. Um, whereas in the past where we might have had um, a, a hybrid grape that can grow in a more marginal site, uh, we now have those types of varieties that are producing higher quality wines, uh, wine grapes. Wine tours that are really popular throughout the area. We have Geneva on the Lake, Coshocton. You mentioned um, up in Ashtabula. That's really where you monitor some of the vineyards within our region. What are you going to wait to taste out of this latest harvest? Um, as I said, it's an early season kind of year, so I'm very excited, especially about um, the quality of our, our Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs, but other hybrid grapes, too, that ripen early, like Marquette, um, that's been a, a recent push in plantings over the past um, you know, five to 10 years ever since that was released out of the Minnesota breeding program. Um, so a lot of the, a lot of those wines I'm very excited to taste. Uh, Gewürztraminer demeanor certainly, and some of their um, offsprings like um, Tremonet and Aramella, I think are going to be very nice this year. All right, we're turning our 21 News viewers into wine connoisseurs right here. Thank you so much for joining us, Maria. Really appreciate your expertise. Great, no problem. Thank you.